Hey everyone, welcome back to Tech AMT. Apple's September event just wrapped up, and to be honest, my expectations were pretty low. But after checking out the new devices, there's way more to talk about than I originally thought. So, let's dive into the highlights of iPhone 16 Pro and Pro Max. The big news this year? The new Desert Titanium Color. It's a sleek, cream-colored back with a bronze trim. Definitely gives off a premium vibe. No vibrant colors this year for the Pro models. We're talking neutral tones only, no bold blues or greens, which is a bit of a letdown if you were hoping for something more eye-catching. Now, these devices are bigger, but not in a way you'll immediately notice. The thinner bezels really make the difference here. Both Pro models are powered by the new A18 Pro chip, which is supposed to be a solid upgrade in terms of both CPU and GPU performance. The improved energy efficiency means longer battery life, which is always a win. Surprisingly, both Pro models still have 8GB of RAM, given the increased focus on AI features. Speaking of AI, Apple introduced a new feature called Visual Intelligence. It's similar to Google Lens. You point your camera at something, and it tells you what it is. Snap a photo of a dog, and it'll tell you the breed. The cool part? It's activated by a brand new camera control button. You press it to launch the camera, take a photo, or even record video. As for the cameras, both the Pro and Pro Max now come with the Tetra Prism lens for better zoom. Plus, you can now shoot 4K cinematic videos at 120 frames per second. That's insane processing power for a phone. The ultra-wide lens is also upgraded to 48MP, which should significantly improve quality, especially for wide-angle shots. For the standard iPhone 16, the colors this year are more fun and vibrant. We've got pink, teal, and a stunning ultramarine blue. Performance-wise, the regular iPhone 16s get the A18 chip and 8GB of RAM, which is a big leap forward from last year's models. Apple claims 30% faster performance and better battery life, but we'll have to see how that holds up in real-world use. So, that's the quick rundown of Apple's latest event. There's a lot to unpack, and I'm excited to dive deeper into these products in the coming weeks. Stay tuned for more in-depth reviews. If you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more updates. See you next time.